class, this is Mr. Corsi, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I'm excited to start this school year with you in my class, and I hope you have enjoyed your summer. As your instructor for this year, my intention is to make your learning experience worthwhile and positive while providing valuable skills for your future careers or education. We are very fortunate to be in a district that invests in its career and technology education students by providing access to industry equipment and a new broadcasting studio to prepare our students for their career path. The facility consists of our lecture classroom, where you can do research and video editing, a photography room, the equipment room, and the broadcasting studio. Our half million dollar broadcasting studio is one of the most modern studios in North Central Texas. It is used by the advanced audio video production classes and the district media staff. Like all classrooms, there are specific house rules and procedures that you need to be familiar with to ensure that everyone receives a positive and productive learning experience. It is very important that you pay attention and develop daily routines according to the guidelines that I established for this course. In Mr. Corsi's classroom, most rules and procedures revolve around three basic values. Be professional, be prepared, and be respectful. To be professional, you will need to be on time. Meet all deadlines and produce your best work. Deadlines are a major part of a producer's job. Stay on task, put your cell phones away, and follow the district address code. To be prepared, you need to bring all needed materials and listen to teacher directions to successfully complete course assignments. To be respectful, show respect by what you say and do. Please respect property of the school, teacher, and other students. Students are encouraged to help each other, but don't be a distraction that interferes with other students learning by talking loudly or leaving your assigned seat without permission. The following are some specific house rules and procedures that you will be expected to follow. Number one, throw away any food or drink before entering the computer lab. No eating or drinking in the lab, please. I have posted signs throughout the room to help remind you. Crumbs and spills can attract bugs and damage classroom carpet and equipment. Number two. In Mr. Corsi's classroom, cell phones are not needed for instruction and are considered a distraction. You have several options regarding cell phones while taking this course. The first option is easy. You can put your cell phone away on silent in a bag, backpack, or pocket in the full duration of class time and the cell phone will not be an issue. The second option is to take advantage of the cell phone parking lot. The cell phone parking lot is a designated place that I have provided for you to park your phone during class. If you choose to use the cell phone parking lot during class, Place your phone in one of the numbered pockets with the number matching your assigned computer. If you sit at computer number 3, place your cell phone in place number 3. If you choose to use the cell phone parking lot for charging, use your own charging cord. Plug your phone into one of the power strips and then place your phone into one of the lower pockets in the cell phone parking lot. The cell phone parking lot is only accessible before and after class. If you plan to store or charge your phone, you may not go and get it during class time. If your phone is not in the cell phone parking lot and is causing a distraction from work in class, you will be directed to park your phone and you may pick it up after class. Students who do not comply or have repeated requests to park their phones will have their phones Toad. A toad phone will be stored in the teacher's desk 
and will be turned into the office at the end of the day. If a student refuses to hand over their phone to be towed, the student will be referred to the office. Number three, be on time. The tardy policy will be strictly enforced. This relates to acting professional. It is disrespectful to me and the class when you are late because I often start class as soon as the bell rings and I would have to repeat what I've already explained to the class. Everyone is expected to be in their assigned location once the tardy bell rings. Future employers expect their employees to show up on time. Being on time is a great habit to start while you're a student in school. Number four, when you arrive, go to your assigned seat to log on and go online to view your learning objectives for today's instruction. See the course website and Google Classroom Procedures video for more information. Each assigned student location includes a numbered computer, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, and headphones. Please keep them in their assigned location so others can easily find them after you're done using them. Do not peel off labels, write on, or damage equipment in any way. Once you are finished with class, neatly place your headphones on the hook located behind the computer. Occasionally, the wireless keyboard and mouse may lose charge. If that happens, let the teacher know and you will get a charging cable to charge them. Number five, before leaving class, put all binders, books, and equipment back neatly in order where they belong. Leave your work area clean and throw away all unneeded trash or paper. Number six, save work often especially for longer assignments. You do not want your work lost due to outside hazards such as power outages. Be sure to save assignments in their designated file locations so you can easily find them. Turn in assignments as instructed. For more information, watch the video on saving files and turning in assignments. Number seven, print only when instructed by the teacher. Paper and ink are expensive materials that do not need to be wasted. Number eight, follow the MISD computer acceptable use policy at all times. Number nine, always log off the computer before leaving class. You do not want someone else messing with your files or them needing to power down the computer so they can log in. Number 10, Designated class hours are intended for coursework, discussion, and critique. Your ideas and designs will thrive in an atmosphere of open interchange, so have fun, share your ideas and your opinions respectfully. Behavior standards including active engaged participation in critiques and discussion, attendance, and timeliness can influence your grades. As a participant in this class, you are expected to attend all classes. Class participation includes contributing to discussions and critiquing your own and others' work as well as diligently working on your own projects during the class period. Students are responsible for seeking help when needed. Students who need special accommodations are responsible for working with the instructor and the relevant school offices. Throughout class, please remain in your seat until the bell rings to ensure a safe and productive learning environment. Number 11, no lining up at the door. Remain in your assigned seat until class is dismissed. Number 12, when absent, you miss daily work. It is your responsibility to go online to see what you have missed in class while you are out. Come in before or after school to make up work. Do not expect to complete make up work during class. It is your responsibility to take care of make up work on time so that you will not have zeros. Number 13, use common sense and follow all regular classroom rules that you have traditionally followed. Let's talk about restroom privileges. 
All students are encouraged to use the restroom before or after class. Since this is a double block class, we will take a five minute restroom break between each passing periods. Throughout the year, you might have a need to use the restroom during class time. When going to the restroom during class time, you must only use the student restroom in the TEC building down the hall. Students that are found to be somewhere other than what is written on their pass are subject to an office referral. This is a privilege, so don't take advantage. And remember, the hand sanitizer is located at the front of the class for you after you return from the restroom. At the beginning of each semester, students will receive a pink paper with six restroom passes. These passes are only given out once a semester and are not transferable to other students. So you can't let someone else use your pass. If an emergency restroom need arises, complete the date and time information on one of your pink passes and give the paper to Mr. Corsi to sign. Do not tear out the passes, so leave them all together. Students are encouraged to use no more than two passes a six weeks, if at all. Students with special restroom privileges from the school nurse will be accommodated. Once you use all six restroom passes on your sheet, you will not be allowed to go to the restroom unless it is an extreme emergency. This is in place to ensure that students are not taking advantage of restroom privileges and to use class time as intended. To encourage students to use the restroom outside of class time, they can turn in the unused restroom passes at the end of the semester for extra credit points. Remember, you will only get these passes at the beginning of each semester. Let's talk about some building procedures. When arriving at the TEC, enter through the east door. The doors are timed to unlock at scheduled arrival times. If the doors are locked and you need to be buzzed in, go to the intercom and push the button labeled Video Production. It will call your teacher and you will be buzzed in once you have been identified. For early arrivals, there is a student waiting area down the hall. Please be considerate of KEOM and district staff in the building while in the halls by not making any disruptive noises or loud talking. If you follow these set guidelines, you will have the most productive and positive experience while taking this course. Let's talk about the Broadcasting Studio safety procedures and guidelines. It is no fun being injured, disabled, or dealing with damaged equipment. Mesquite ISD does not want to see any of our students get hurt during the course of their education using the Broadcasting Studio. I have developed a few rules and procedures to help you, the student, work under safer and more desirable conditions. In order for this program to be successful, the rules must be followed and the suggestions taken seriously. You must be constantly aware of your fellow students' actions as well as your own. Only in this way can we have a safe place in which to study, work, learn, and create. The following rules, procedures, and suggestions will help make sure your time with advanced audio video production is a positive, happy, accident-free learning experience. Number one, no horseplay of any kind around cameras, props, scenery, or equipment. Number two, no running with scenery, props, or any studio equipment. Number three, only one person on a ladder at a time. Number four, unauthorized personnel must not attempt to repair or test electrical equipment. Number five, when the studio is not in use, secure all equipment with cables coiled out of the way. This prevents trips and falls, especially by visitors unfamiliar with the studio. Number six, if any cords are on the floor and will need to be there for an extended amount of time, tape down the cords or secure them out of the way. Number seven, do not stack cases, props, boxes, or crates so they might fall. Number eight, if water, oil, or any other liquid falls on the floor, 
Wipe it up immediately. Wet spots can cause falls. Number nine, do not have food, drinks, or candy in the lab, near any equipment, in the control room, or studio. Number 10, only operate the equipment in dry surroundings. Do not operate or plug in any electrical equipment while you are on a wet surface. Keep the equipment dry. Do not operate the cameras in the rain. Number 11, wear clothing that is appropriate for the job. Wear shoes that enclose the foot, avoid sandals, and slip-on shoes when operating equipment that moves or rolls like studio cameras. The talent must also avoid wearing green at all times. Number 12, keep audio at a safe listening level. The audio is too loud if you have to shout so someone five feet away from you can hear you speak. Turn the volume down and use headphones when possible. Number 13, in conclusion, report all unsafe conditions, equipment, and people to the teacher. If you see someone being unsafe, you are permitted to inform that person immediately and the teacher later. You have a responsibility to do your part to keep from being injured. Some of the ways you can achieve this have been presented to you in this video. Your cooperation will protect you. Let's talk about lab technology and media. Throughout the year, you will incorporate imaging, video, and audio effects into your projects through the use of scanners, digital cameras, digital video cameras, digital drawing pads, headphones, microphones, and other internal and external audio mediums. The Studio Computer Lab is equipped with new iMac computers that are replaced every three years. External DVD drives and storage are available to those that need them. In this lab, there are a variety of industry media software available for students to learn and use on their projects. These products consist of professional industry software such as Adobe Suite software, including Photoshop, Illustrator, Animate, InDesign, Fireworks, Premiere, Audition, After Effects, and much more. 3D animation software such as Maya, Blender, and Unity are also available for students to use. Apple's GarageBand is used to create music mixes and voice recordings along with the Microsoft Office Suite will give you the skills to be more successful in your education and acquire skills to be more qualified in the job market. Industry software certification opportunities are available in all courses in Mr. Corsi's classroom at no cost to students. To maximize your classroom and high school experiences, I highly suggest that you participate in CTE organizations and competitions such as TSA, BPA, and UIL Academics. There are a variety of competitive STEM events in these forums that relate to skills learned and course content taught in my classes. Not only will you get opportunities to show off your skills, creativity, and talent, you will have opportunities to win awards, receive scholarships, get exposure to new experiences and real-world applications, and travel to fun and exciting places while representing your high school. Make the most of your high school experience and memories by participating in a CTE organization. This is a demanding yet enjoyable course which will provide you with a working knowledge of many of the skills which could be applied in any industry or educational environment. You as a learner are responsible for asking questions about things you do not understand and I will provide you with answers and resources for completing your assignments. Be patient and don't overstress yourself, but stay up to date with course activities and you will have a rewarding experience gaining skills that will be of value to your future job opportunities. Welcome to this course. 
Try to keep an open mind, challenge yourself, and enjoy the many opportunities to be creative and add employable skills to your resume. To view an overview and description for your course, please click on one of the videos below. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.